Hunters and poachers are not brothers. Poaching is often defined as unlawful hunting, as some kind of subset of hunting, which it is not. Poaching is the illegal take of wildlife by kill or capture. Poachers are not hunters, they are thieves. Yet too often today it appears that poaching and legal hunting are being confused or conflated in the public mind. Wildlife laws are not arbitrary. They are grounded in principles of conservation and social well-being. Modern hunting regulations safeguard sustainable use and appropriate use of species designated and managed as wild game, as well as the principles of fair chase and fair access. Hunting quotas, harvest limits, and hunting practices are heavily informed by science to ensure the human influence on hunted species does not adversely affect the viability of their populations in the wild. Legal and regulatory decisions, though they vary throughout the world, form the basis of an important social contract that defines the technical aspects of legal, respectful, and sustainable hunting. By circumventing laws and regulations, poachers act in complete disregard of the well-being of wildlife populations placing profits or personal gain above all else. Poachers also demonstrate complete disregard for society's scientifically established conservation practices and institutions. Arguably, these criminals cause even greater harm by destroying the public's trust and calling into question the reputation of respectful, law-abiding and conservation-minded hunters and anglers, most of whom feel a very personal responsibility toward the protection of wildlife and wilderness. Unfortunately, it is far too easy to find plenty of examples of poaching. Rhinoceroses are cruelly mutilated for their horns, the rest of the beasts deemed so comparatively worthless as to be left to rot in the wild. Similarly, bears are killed illegally so that the poacher may harvest only the gallbladder. Sometimes they are illegally captured and held captive in deplorable conditions while they are tapped for bile, waiting to die. Wild animals from parrots to monkeys to skunks are also captured illegally and sold as pets or working animals, often abused and kept in deplorable conditions. Poaching is a deliberate enterprise, organized from the act of killing to the escape, cover-up, and subsequent trafficking and sale of the illegal take. It can be enticingly lucrative, especially to people living in economically stressed countries where the price of an elephant's ivory, for example, immediately represents more money than can be earned honestly through farming or, or ranching livestock in a year. This is how criminal syndicates traffic in, in illegal wildlife prey on both the wildlife and people. Not all poaching is as viscerally appalling. Poaching exists in many quieter forms as well. Killing or capturing wildlife out of season or outside of legal hours, capturing or harming a protected species and selling parts of legally hunted animals in illegal markets. Hunters understand that taking the life of an animal is a serious and significant act. It ought to be done with respect. In any form, poaching is disrespectful and selfish. Poaching undermines the social contract that envelops fair and sustainable wild harvest. No, poaching is not hunting. Poaching is not a type of hunting. Rather, it is a hostile antagonist to hunting that serves to undermine conservation practices in general. Hunters claim no kinship with poachers and in fact are often the individuals responsible for reporting poaching activity to the authorities. Hunters offer no defense for poachers and willingly contribute financially to anti-poaching enforcement efforts. No, hunters and poachers are not brothers. It is critical that the public understand this and critical that hunters work to ensure this understanding is secured.